orchestration has been discussed in detail by the sage Bharata in Natya Shastra, the earliest treatise on performing arts. Bharata called it Atodya. He classified the instruments under Atodya into Tant, Vitant, Sushir, Avanatha and Ghan. More or less all the instruments of the world can be categorized under these five categories. The vast Indian peninsula boasts of a tapestry of geographical variety. Each region has its own musical tradition. The rich folk tunes have enriched immensely the ever-evolving Indian bands and music. Musical bands in India come in various contours, costumes and colours. From the band that accompanies every musical procession to the divine bands being played in religious festivals to honour the gods. There are myriad bands in between. In a band, no player is more important than the other. The individuality of all the players gets dissolved in the composition which emerges beautifully as a collective effort. The Indian market is flooded with CDs and cassettes of band music to attract young buyers. Bollywood, the largest film industry, is also touched by the magic of Indian musical bands. The musical bands have played a prominent role in making the films a hit at the box office. The Shara is an important festival in India. It indicates the victory of good over evil. The happiness and exhilaration is celebrated with great pomp and show. During this festival, there is an enactment of the opulence of God Ram, Lakshman and Goddess Sita by local people. The heavy ornaments, the crowns and beautiful costumes adorn their outer appearance while the entrancing music played by musical bands helps to invoke the spirit of God residing in the heart of every human being. Dancing to the tunes played by bands is an integral part of Indian marriages. Young, old, men and women, no one can resist responding to the lifting tunes played by these bands. Military bands play a vital role in inspiring civilians and soldiers alike and are a symbol of India's national solidarity. of India set up the military music wing in Panchmari in October 1950. The wing has not only been prolific with over 230 musical compositions to its credit, but has also recruited and trained bandsmen, pipers and drummers with rudimentary skills in music to enviable musical proficiency. The musical bands of India 
epitomize unity in diversity, with states and communities developing their separate styles of music, though united by a common thread of Bharatiya.